Hello, this is Easy, and I'm going to be using a website called p3d.in. Right, this is a website that you can display your model on the web. As you can see here, I have a, I have a trombone here, and I have multiple uh, materials. These are where my polygroups are at. And I'm going to show you a way to do this, so once you upload it, and you want multiple materials this will show you how to do it uh, there's gonna be some files I'm gonna be using and uh, as you can see on the upper left here there's a like a controller where you can do certain things all right when I am logged out right now so this will look a little different this is how you're gonna see it right here and I'll be logging here in just a minute and the files I will be using as you can see it looks like it's on the the background is the uh, uh, interface of ZBrush. As you can see right here in the upper left hand corner where this is docked at right here. I would cut part of this out in the image. So let me just show you really quick. So this is one of the files I used. Okay. And I cut this out and just filled it in with color. And the file I'm going to be using will be this file that I've been working on. So this is how you do it. And it's actually fairly simple, so I'm going to go ahead and this is what I've been working on. We're going to open right here. All right, this has polygroups, okay? If I turn on this poly frame right here, it's got groups. That's why if I control shift click, you can see I can hide and show. So the next step, what I want to do is. I want to go to subtools. Okay, this is a necessity that you do this. Then we're going to go down to split. We're going to split groups. Okay, we need groups so we can assign each material. All right, with everything just right there, I am going to go up here and I'm going to press export. And when I press export, we got an edit. It'll set it by default to OBJ. We're going to set this down to FBX. And then we're going to go ahead and we'll just give it a name. I'll just type and uh, get rid of the three here. Then we'll save it. Then we'll get a pop up like this. Uh, basically, everything at default right here, you say visible. Um, I'm just leaving everything at uh, default. There might be some other settings you like, but. Uh, this, I'm doing it like the way I do it, so we'll just do it like this. As you can see, it's cycling through each uh, polygroup or subtool, same thing. So when it's done, here's the file it created right here. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and go back to the website, and I will be logging in. So I'll pause for just a second. Once you're logged in, you'll come over here to New Model, and you will select your file, and it's in the FBX one, and we're going to load the FBX, okay? And we'll give it a couple seconds to load up, and here's our model right here. Now you can see here, I'm in this tab of mesh and material. And you can see I got a list right here. If it wasn't done right, uh, it would not give me an option with this list. It would just give me uh, uh, the trombone and I could only apply one material and that's it. Now I'm going to be able to apply different materials. So let me go ahead and bring this up here. Around here. As you see when I tap this and click it, it's highlighting back here and saying, hey, this is a... It wants to apply it to this one here, okay? The back of the trombone where it's flashing at. So we'll just go right here and shade the sphere. As you can see it update there. And then we're gonna change that by clicking the sphere. Uh, we'll just go ahead and we'll give it that right there. I'll click here. And then you get some options if you wanna I usually just do the brightness to 
and then you work your way down the line all right so as you can see it's flashing right here it's telling me so even though that uh you just work your way down the line you can click to see what does what but i just work my way down the line so we'll just go ahead and click this beer and click this and we're going to do with uh, kind of a chrome shape click over here a little too dark for me so we'll brighten that up work way down to the next one number two bad I'm gonna darken just a tad work our day way down to number three shade of sphere click the sphere right here and we'll do this one here click in the viewer to hide that window then we get something like that now some of your models when you upload them as you can see this one here I can see through the mesh all right because uh, it's not got double sided on so let me find out which one that was that was number two as you can see I'm seeing right through it right here on the you blow into the trombone and we can turn the double sided on which will fix that problem custom view as you can see here so basically all I did with the for the background press the T right here I already got it in the uh, p3d dot in I click it see it's got that window it won't pop down to you click somewhere in the viewer as you can see it's a little out of whack so we'll just put stretch to fit and we'll press save changes there's all other kind of options in here um, that you can do but this is just basically to you know get you up and running and uh, that way you'll know how to apply material so so yeah, that's how that works And like I said, since I'm logged in, now mine's longer, but once I log out, you'll be able to tell. I had paused the video and logged out, and as you can see over here, now this is a little bit smaller. Uh, the background image of the ZBrush UI, um, they all match where I cut it out to this right here. Uh, another thing is uh, once I logged out um, I already had one of these made here and I just went ahead and uh, went ahead and deleted that one because I already had one made so if you might see a little slight change in uh, the brightness or the colors of the material is because I already had one made and this is the one I had uh, made a while back ago but anyway, anyway they pretty much look the same and this is a good way to display your model on the web. So go check it out. It's called P3D.in. And this is a little tutorial with this uh, website, displaying your web, displaying your model on the web, and using ZBrush. Anyway, that's the end of this, and thank you very much.